since the last time you and I had a conversation, artificial intelligence, uh, trading, it's becoming more and more popular now. Yeah, I, I mean, the biggest thing right now I, I think that's going on is uh, a lot of people have been recently seeing the recent surge of Bitcoin again over 10,000 and now all of a sudden people are like, oh, is this trading thing real again? A lot more baby boomers are starting to explore into it. The millennials have already been really dabbling into it because, you know, millennials are very creative typically. They're always looking to try and find ways to make money. And um, since our last conversation, things have just really been surging in this, this hot spot because AI is a very hot topic and commodity. You have people like Elon Musk heavily talking about it right now. And really all we've been able to do is merge these two different markets and, and take technologies and algorithms and strategies that have worked for professionals for years and build it into softwares that really do a lot of the heavy lifting for people. So, so let me ask you this, you know, you're talking about Bitcoin and how things are different now than probably where they were just a year, two yeah. years ago. Now you're seeing more people, and as we were talking, we we're saying more baby boomers getting into it because you know it's kind of typical for a millennial to say, "Oh, let me give something a, a try." You know, they yep. usually don't feel like they have anything to lose, so they'll give a shot. Um, but baby boomers, on the other hand, they're always a little more skeptical. Absolutely. So now you're saying, you know, how the market has changed. So tell us a little bit about just the change in the past, like two years, as far as Bitcoin and where it's at now. Yeah. I, oh, I think the the biggest thing is Bitcoin had its its big spike in momentum about two years ago, and a lot of people are like, oh, this is the next thing, right? right? And, you know, we saw people taking out mortgages to put it in Bitcoin and it crashed. And I, I saw people lose a lot of money. And um, it's been two years of, you know, this downward trend almost for, for Bitcoin and, and cryptocurrencies. And all of a sudden, the past few months, we've started to see this bullish movement again in the crypto sector. We've started to see real viable technology come out. Um, and, and that's the biggest thing is about two years ago, a lot of it was very much just supply and demand people thought it was valuable so the price went up but now we're actually seeing real world technology and real world implementation happening where it can be done day to day in fact one of the other things um, we're working on in, in the trade smart community is we have a mobile app where people can actually um, with bitcoin or ethereum they're actually going to be able to pay anywhere in the world that accepts apple google pay or samsung pay mm -hmm. um, so they're actually going to be able to use crypto to pay for real world things without having to exchange it back to That's you different. know yeah very mm -hmm. different but it's allowing people to start using this stuff for real world um, purchases. And I think that's the biggest thing is that when people can actually start using it as a currency and, and buying things with it, um, it creates, you know, much more real world use. And when things have real world use, more people are going to adopt them. Now, we last had our conversation. You guys probably remember our last interview. That was some months ago, sometime yeah. last year, I guess. Yep. Um, but, you know, things things have changed since then. What has changed specifically for you? Like kind of what, what has this been able to do for you personally? Yeah, personally, I've been able to take this technology and actually start developing and creating real wealth for myself within it. You know, I had been trading for the past five years on and off on my own. Mm -hmm. And prior to finding this technology, I'd have my great days and I'd have my bad days because, again, you have emotion and greed. Um, every, every human has it. You know, it doesn't matter how disciplined you are. There's going to be a day where you might catch some emotion or you might have a little greed in you. And um, all I've been able to really do with this software is cut a lot of the emotion out of my trading experience and really know, okay, this thing knows what it's doing. I can trust it. Um, let's cut the emotion back and let it do what it does best. And that's what's really helped me actually start being able to make consistent profits every single month in these markets. And, you know, a lot of people aren't doing that. Right. So Tyler, as always, we appreciate you coming in. Where can people get some more information? Yeah, if, if people want to get some more information, uh, simply they could follow me on Instagram or, you know, you, I'm sure you'll attach in uh, we'll the link there the website. Bottom. Yep, yep, it's right there on it, your screen, right, right about now. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you stopping by, man. We'll be checking in with Absolutely. you soon. Absolutely. Thank right, you thank so you. much for having me on Air, Brooks. Absolutely, man.